And um, like you were saying, bro, like just get to get them videos and yeah, shit like that. Some fucking visuals out, man. Like uh, to the young niggas that want this shit, that's hungry, bro. You fucking find you a studio with good quality, my nigga, and save it for a video, nigga. Not just anything, bro. Put you out something nice. You know what I'm saying? And nowadays, videos don't even be that expensive. You know? Nah, what I, mean? I mean, some people are, dog. You just like artists, nigga. You paying for features, somebody with a platform. Then you got the videographers that got their platform and badass work, nigga. They it's just, it's just, that's a lot you know of. There's actually a lot yeah. of videographers yeah. out here in the Houston yeah. scene that. Yeah. Crawl yeah. before you walk, my nigga. So, just fucking find a fucking videographer that fits your budget and that has some good work, bro. You know what I'm and saying? I've actually seen you do that, yeah. bro. I've seen you work with one specific videographer for like the past year yeah. or year and a half, yeah. and y'all have just been in yeah. and out, in and out, in and out, dropping yeah. tracks, dropping yeah. tracks, yeah. dropping yeah. tracks, which I think is actually pretty tight. And that's actually something that I I am big on is find yourself a videographer that you're gonna stick with. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because like. For example, you got like like for like I was just talking about. I don't want to keep using him as an example, but Peso Peso got D Green Films. Yeah. Look, them two are a connection, bro. And every music video Peso shoots. Yeah. D Green's, you know, the videographer. Yeah, He's the one that you established that relationship. Yeah. With, you know what I'm saying? Your videographers, your partners, you make music with, uh, <laughs> fucking big artists too, bro. You know, you like you get a feature, dog. That shit, just like, like just say like that nigga. He fucking got a feature from Sauce, nigga, and was that was his best investment, my nigga. That put him on. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? You just so, never know. Yeah. You just never know. The but producers like, as well, bro. You gonna need niggas with beats and fucking look out for you on the studio yeah. time. I didn't even realize how many producers legit make beats. Cause like, I say I walk into studios and shit. I be thinking like these people buy the beats off of you know yeah, YouTube yeah. or some or buy them off of you know beat stars or whatever. Yeah. But I've actually seen legit producers put down a beat in front of me, you know, and I'm like, yeah, damn, bro. like, take a sample. Like that, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, legit, they go off and they get a sample from a song, like 50 song, yeah. and then they put it on a beat, and that shit sounds crazy, you know? Right, I'll be like, right. damn, man. It's the vibe, my nigga, and that's some of the best work, you know what I'm saying? But that's what it comes with them motherfucking long nights, my nigga. Like, you steady in the studio, this shit frustrating, bro. It's, it's, Frustrating as fuck, my nigga. You yeah, know what I'm saying? But nah, for sure. It is what it is, bro. Everybody, you gotta have love for the shit, my nigga. If you're gonna do it, mm -hmm. get serious with it. A legit dedication, yeah. too, because sometimes this shit might take years. It might take 10, 15 years, yeah, you know? Straight up, the, that nigga Nipsey took a long ass time, but that's why it's the marathon continues, my nigga. Just don't give up. You know yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people that don't took the time with this shit. Like, motherfucking, uh, what's that dude's name? He's he's a little dude. He's short, but he's some dude. He's like I've been at this shit for nine years. Now they start to go. You know what I'm talking about now, huh? Man, fuck, bro. I haven't heard that bitch in a minute. Hey, man, <laughs> you see what I'm saying though? But like yeah, these yeah, people yeah. be at it for years, bro. Yeah. Fucking 10, 15 plus years, and then finally they start getting phone calls in, and then that's the time where you can decide whether I'm gonna decline it or I'm gonna keep going because yeah, all these people are looking at me. Up, man. You know what I mean? Because, like, that's how I see it, too. You know, I got a lot of people, you know, looking at me, looking at me. Hey, bro, you know, you want to be part of our brand, bro? Yeah, you want to come join in? fucking getting this working, nigga. Nah, I yeah, see you yeah. with a whole bunch of artists, dog. I'll be with everybody, bro. Don't matter yeah. what kind of shit's going on between, you know, what they got going on in their lives or whatnot. I'm going to pop out, you know what I mean? And that's one thing that I show. I feel like, you know, show love, get love. You know yeah, what I mean? That's what it is, man. That's what it's all about, bro. And that's one thing that I don't like here in Houston because here in Houston it's hard to show love and then get it back in I mean, return. shit, too many niggas act too Hollywood and shit. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. My point, you know yeah, what I mean? That's, that's where, like, niggas get it fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Because there was an underground artist at one point in time, too. You know Some I mean? people just don't look at it like that, yeah, though. Technically, in the industry, they still underground artists, my nigga. So you got to show love to the underdogs. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Niggas out here that fucking need that motivation just like you did. You feel me? Um, a simple ass like or follow yep. back on Instagram or a message will take a young nigga a long way. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like, damn, this, this is somebody I, I wake up and grind to. This is somebody that motivates me. And this nigga, he's showing love on my music, nigga. That's that's what everybody looks forward to at this shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Nah, yeah, shout love, get love, my nigga. Don't act too Hollywood, baby. Now, I ain't even gonna lie. Now, um, with, with your boy Chapo and his music video that I just shot with him. Yeah, yeah, I took yeah. a lot of inspiration. I told Black Sheep because I like I fuck with that hoe, the one that you and him got that yeah, on go, bro. Yeah, on go, yeah. I was like, bro, it needs to be like this one in a way. Oh, that bitch took off too, bro. We did the numbers, numbers on are that good. Bitch, bro. Yeah, we did numbers on that bitch. 
Man, that was really Chapo's like first legit song and first legit video. Like in the uh, studio and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I was all like, "Hey, nigga, we gonna we gonna do this, we gonna do that." Me and little bro, you know what I'm saying? Leatherface, the motherfucking platter on everything. We put our bread behind it, and uh -huh. now those are his little youngins. And I was all like, "Well, what's up, nigga? Let's let's make shit pop off." You know what I'm saying? Man, and y'all did, did that. Y'all did that shit in the heart of Pasadena, over yeah, there in Brighton Hills, Hill, bro. Nigga. In the heart of Pasadena. Uh, yeah, if you repeat that, nigga. You you know, you, be heels, nigga. you know what it is around yeah. there, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. Yeah, if you know, you know, my nigga. Yeah, but, yo, yeah. dog, we did that over there, you know what I'm saying? It was in a mix with a whole bunch of people and shit. But it was all love, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, bro. Because not too many niggas is doing this right here in the area. And not too many niggas is on the scene like that. You exactly. know what I'm saying? People really be ducked off. Or like you were saying, they be acting too Hollywood to pop out. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't like that shit, you know. Yo. And why are you going to act Hollywood? There's no need for that shit. Especially uh -huh. if you're not on that next level shit. If you're not like on like that little baby's face. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you acting like that? You know what I mean? Bro, bro, charging. What? Somebody hit me up, and they talking about. I hit them up actually, talking about a sit down interview, talking about you need to pay me. Oh, it was Drippy. You know who Drippy is? Yeah, I know who that is. I hit him up talking about, bro, let's do a sit down interview because first of all, I took it as you know, I thought maybe me and him were like tight, and you know what I mean. Yeah. Bro said one thousand dollars for a sit down interview. I was like, nah, bro. I was like, I'm not even gonna give you ten percent of that because like, <laughs> look at like, he's not even the biggest, you know. I'm not yeah, saying nothing bad yeah, about him, you know, yeah. but he's not the biggest TSF member, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's course, not like I'm not going to give you 1K for any reason, and you know? it's not a feature, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm so, saying? It's a sit down. You know, if anything, it works out both ways, you know? He ain't got to be, like, like I was telling, oh, uh, I'm waiting the last sit down, bro. Like, these sit downs, bro, I mean, these sit down interviews take 15 to 30 minutes to anywhere to 45 to an hour. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? You know what I'm saying? I, at, at the same time, though, that shit helps out the artists in... And a uh, videographer as well, bro, you know what I mean? So I'm down with it. Like, I've had already, like, three of them, you know what I'm saying? The mm -hmm. first one I ever had was uh, fucking Scrooge Media, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that bitch did some numbers too, bro. Just That's how I know, like, my fan base is growing. I had, like, fucking 720 people just to hear me chop it up, you know what I'm just saying? Just talking, and yeah. That shit was all love, my nigga. And, and that was my first one, you know what I mean? And You've I, had uh, many more yeah, ever since. I, I, yeah, I had a couple of them after that, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I like every one of them that I did, man. It's all love. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Like you said, it's actually a, a big step in somebody's career because, yeah. for example, like I know somebody who just put out one track. My thing is like. I got real, real heavy on the, you got to have more than this many views yeah, and yeah. you got to have this amount of subscribers in order because I don't yeah. know if you heard of this dude named No Reggie Allow. Uh, he, Sounds familiar? I think he throws like shows and shows. Stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, he's yeah, big on the, he's, I guess he, whatever he thinks of him, of himself being a celebrity or whatnot, but he hit me on the, at the Lux Tavern talking about, let's do a sit down interview. Next thing you know, a week later, he's all talking shit on Instagram because I declined him on the sit-down interview. Bro, talking about, I'm a celebrity and this and that. I don't like that, you know what I mean? Who yeah, do you think you are? That shit, bro. Talking about, I'm charging 3000 a future. I didn't even know he did music, to be honest. I thought it was just like... He shows. got a song with GT Garza, bro. Oh man, shout out GT. He was he's really been doing his motherfucking thing. He's now, actually bro. a slept on Mexican artist that's he is, been bro. pushed. He go hard than the bitch too, man. He's mm. been on the scene for a long ass time, bro. Like I wanna say about ten years. Ten years though, he's like been Sh fucking pushing. Truthfully, you know what truthfully. Saying? He's been on it, though. The very he's first track I heard from him was that one with him, Slim Thug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh yeah. and Zero that purple drink. I feel like the one he took off with was that uh, I got a bang all in my trunk. <laughs> that nigga came Wait, down. Wait, what? I haven't heard that one in <laughs> years. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Down. That's my favorite song by GT. Now, um, any upcoming projects coming up with artists? Man, you know, bro. you mentioned Young Easy that you yeah, got something yeah, yeah. in the stash with him. Yeah. But um, any, you know, known artists that are on the come up right now that Man, you got something bro, with? I got a uh, fucking a project coming out, bro, and I got a lot of features on there, dog. Um, it's going to be called Product of My Environment, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And it's really based on shit that I fucking came up off of. I'm going to have mixes in there where it's not even going to be no lyrics. It's just going to be vibes, you know what I'm saying? Some you can fucking jam to while you creep on my nigga, you know what I mean? It's going to be a whole bunch of shit, bro. I'm going to have uh, a lot of artists. I'm going to have my nigga Losi 
on it. I'ma have my nigga D Dream on that motherfucker. I got two fly on it. I got Young Easy on it. I got my little niggas on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chopo, CJ. I'ma have everybody you, on it, bro. You so out here plugging everything, dog. You, you out know here. What I'm saying? You you plugged in with the plugged in mafia <laughs> and you yeah, motherfucking uh, linked in with uh, you know fucking Icy Life Entertainment, bro. Yeah, bro. I think that's fire, bro. bro. I'm just pushing my niggas. They, that that then too, like they show love. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like, hell yeah. In my career and shit, then I popped out at all the shows. I'm in the mix everywhere, my nigga. I try to be in the mix everywhere. Yeah, bro. You know like I was saying in the previous interview, bro. I've I everywhere I see you, bro. I've seen you. I've actually seen you at mo multiple places ever since. What was it? I don't I don't remember where it was, but it was a show I seen you at. Yeah. And then after that, bro, I just seen you like. Every other yeah, place, right. bro, <laughs> and it's like, damn, bro, like that's whenever I was like, we need to link in for a sit down yeah, interview, yeah. and it took a good, it took good it timing. Took a minute, it took a minute, but yeah. by the time my nigga it fell in place. You yeah, honestly, bro, honestly, yeah, bro, did, bro. and then like it couldn't come at the right time because like I got so many types of shit that I got going on right now, yeah. and like I got so many sit down interviews that are on the way. You know what I mean? Bro, my you knee, know what I mean? Yeah, like dog. you're you're right in the perfect mix because like. These next sit down interviews that I got coming are really gonna be the next step. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And um, like I was saying, like I was saying also was, bro, you got Vlad TV, you got Say Cheese TV. Yeah, you know what you I mean? Know what I'm saying we need some niggas out here in the know, underground you know, world. You know, you know what, what I mean? Saying? Making some noise, dog. And it's gonna take just like all these niggas you already worked with, and then all of us, bro. Everybody pushing, nigga. That shit gonna go, dog. That shit gonna go. Hell yeah, bro. For sure. For sure. But like, what 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 artists did you grow up to listening to that you were like that you t that you hold a lot of homage to to this day that? Man, bro, uh, it's a little bit of everything, dog. I came up off of fucking lowrider oldies, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? I came up off of all the old school shit like triple six, motherfucking DJ Quick, you know what I'm saying? Fucking all of course NWA, all them Easy E's underground shit, bro, like. Then the H Town niggas too, like motherfucking K Reno, of course Zero, all them, all the H Town legends, all S U C, everything like that. Then Street Military, bro, fucking my dad put me on a whole bunch of shit, bro. That like, fucking I'm a I'm a youngster with an old soul, so yeah, I got a yeah. picture of everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, Coops a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like. A whole bunch of fucking underground shit, bro. From fucking wicked rap niggas to motherfucking you taking it back. to Odies and fucking Gordillos and everything, my nigga. Like I'm gonna mix your everything, bro. I fuck with it all. That's why like this tape that I'm putting together, bro, it's gonna be a mixture of everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. gonna have a vibe of everything. That's why it's called product of my environment. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. This is gonna be nothing but my inspiration and the artists I'm fucking with, nigga, everyone around me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it was gonna be based off of. Do you have like a legit time? Do you have like a legit Man, month bro, or? I've been, uh... I've been talking about this tape to my niggas, my day one niggas for the longest. And I still ain't fucking like done with it. You know man, what I'm saying? Get that bitch out, like, bro. I, I can't barely wait. started mentioning it on like just like interviews and shit like that and telling like some people but my day one niggas know I've been working on this bitch for about a year already, you know what I'm saying? About a year. So this whole yeah. gonna pop. About this. a year already, man, bro. I'm I can't just, wait for this. So this uh, hoe's gonna pop. I, I believe in you, bro. I, I, I've been working with my nigga Glocked Up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga Glocked Up, man. He's from uh, Louisiana or something like that. You know, outside Baton Rouge or something. You feel me? Okay. But that nigga, he's a badass DJ, bro. He got mixes going on for me and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's doing this fucking thing. He's helping this motherfucking tape come together, bro. Like, that's what it is, man. It takes yeah, yeah. something like that to fucking throw all your mixes. I'll be like, hey, nigga, I got this idea. Put it with this beat or this song. You know what I'm saying? This sample. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he really like helping me a lot on this motherfucker. Hell yeah. yeah. Like, um, what's up with the freestyle? And you all with that shit, too? Man, bro, yeah, I mean, I hit the flows and shit with my partners and shit. I ain't been consistent on it like I should be, bro, but I hit the most. I ain't even tripping, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's where it be at, you know what I mean? If you can't freestyle, if you can't do this, yeah, like... Yeah, I mean, you, you, uh, you gotta shake that shit out, my nigga. My nigga, yo, bro, I did a show with him, and that motherfucker straight up put me on the spot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, my fucking old partners try to put me on the spot, dog. you would be like... Come get this motherfucking mic. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say no, my nigga. Yeah, <laughs> I'ma yeah. hit that bitch, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I do freestyle though, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro. So like, um, any shows coming up right now? Oh uh, shit, bro. Because um, there's one thing that I gotta say, like I was going through your Instagram, bro. Lots of shows that I've seen that you yeah, have been popping yeah. out at. 
lots of shit that you've been doing, bro. And I've been like, damn, like, and like, uh, homeboy just, homeboy Losi said he just got out of jail, bro. I've seen him everywhere with you, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, and like he said, bro, either he's gonna be there with you or he's gonna be pulling up on you, yeah. whether no matter what it yeah, is, bro. Shade up, shade like. Up. That's where it needs to be. The support factor, I think, is one of the main things that you need to have in oh, this yeah, in this game. I can't have niggas around me that ain't hungry, dog. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? These niggas got to be hungry, too, my nigga. You know what I mean? And I've noticed that. Everybody around you, you know, getting that paper, you know what I mean? Which is gotta, good. Everybody got to eat, my nigga. Everybody yeah, got to have that hunger, dog. Because that slow feet don't eat, my nigga. I ain't, ain't going to be dragged back by nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like... That's that's the thing. I had to cut off a, a couple people in this motherfucking game, dog, because niggas is either jealous or just ain't one as bad as you. You know what I'm saying? You got to exactly. keep pushing, my nigga. That's, you, ain't nobody going to put you where you want to be, my nigga. That's yep. it. Yep. Ain't nobody going to put you there, dog. You got to go get it yourself, my nigga. Hell yeah. Man, but like like I was saying, bro, we, it took us a minute to get this sit down interview going, yeah, bro. Did, and now we're here. And now we got it. We got it going, and it's well, man. I appreciate it, bro, for real, for you taking the time out. You know, we at the studio. You know, I appreciate. Studio, shout out, motherfucking David, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can follow his Instagram, all that shit, bro. Yeah, go ahead. You know, come book some time. He in the city, man. He in the city with it, dog. Legit, legit in the city, like. And uh, pretty much like in the motherfucking heart of it too, honestly. Yeah, it's straight up. Yeah, I didn't even know. Like I said, I keep saying, I'm really amazed, bro, because this is nice, bro. Like you got the booth right there. You know, you got the motherfucking equipment right here, bro. Yeah, you don't yeah. see this shit in this city. You yeah, know, what nah, I mean? you really don't. No, bro. bro. Yeah, and yeah. I think homeboy took time out of his, you know, out of his life to do this shit, bro. Yeah, and that's that's good. that dedication, you know what I'm saying? That investment, my nigga. He like was we were, hungry, like you know we were saying? just talking about investments are key. Investments hungry, are 100% key. Man, uh, I don't have no shows coming up, bro. I, not that I know of right now. I usually just take them when somebody throws them. As they go. My way, bro. I'll just take them, motherfuckers. But uh, my partner got a show, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we going to be at the day of unity, the motherfucking party, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shout out my nigga Losi, make the top 20 the shit motherfucking. Show. Cause fucking at a contest, my nigga, he gonna be up in that house. We gonna run in. We gonna be at day of unity, my nigga. So you see me, nigga, say what's up with it. You see the squad, my nigga, say what's up. You know what I'm hey, saying? Yeah. Southeast gonna be in the building, baby. We gonna be up in that motherfucker. Most definitely, bro. I'm gonna be in that bitch too, cause uh, yeah. ain't nobody, you know, tell me, you know, hey, come through, come through, come through. But I'm definitely gonna yeah, pop yeah, up yeah, because yeah. you know, I'm the type of person, you know, just pop out at any type of, you know. Straight club up, or whatever up. just make a video you know what i mean post it and then hopefully you know somebody be like yo hey can you come out to the show for me and record for me because i've already bro i've been at this shit like i said for years bro but i've legit did this camera shit for probably about two three years bro and i've had more people hit my line about some camera footage yeah. than they did for working on music um producing for them you know little shit you know what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah. But, like, yeah, that's why I finally, you know, was like, let me just do this, bro, because, you know, I'm going to take out the time of my life to, you know, do this shit. I'm going to take out my time to make somebody's time worth it. You feel me? I don't know if Man, that makes sense, straight bro. Straight up, straight up. It does, bro. It does because but, you're part of the motherfucking hustle, my nigga. It's, 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 it's everything, you know what I'm saying? If a lot of these motherfuckers are doing motherfucking straight up streaming all day about their life, my nigga, and they need a cameraman, dog. They need niggas on tour with them. They need motherfuckers at the show. They need all the behind the scenes footage, the video shoots, everything, bro. The pictures, my nigga. You, artists use all that shit, bro. And if you don't, then you you don't take your you're craft not doing serious, nothing, You know what I mean? You don't. Yeah, Dumb, yeah. You need all that shit. You need a cameraman, my nigga. Just like you need the microphone and the motherfucking beat. You know what I'm saying? That's all Straight important. Up. That's all like. That's all important, bro. But hell yeah, man. I definitely appreciate this, bro. You, like I said, you took the time out of your day. You gotta. I'm pretty sure you're gonna record a song. You know what I mean? Record yeah, yeah. some. You know what I mean? So I appreciate that, bro. Um, you take care, man. And I definitely hit me, bro. You know, if you ever need anything posted, like on my story or anything, bro, send it to me. Be like, post it, bro. I, I got really, you, I fam. Really you know what I mean? Like, it's like that. You so know what I mean? Love, baby. It's hey. all love. I appreciate you having me, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Stay up, Lazy bro. K up in this motherfucker tapping in with my little films. You know what I'm saying? Hey. TMP up in this bitch. L-I-B-L motherfucker. And R-93, nigga. Oh, look. Yeah. Hey, yeah.